Well now, last time we left, we left you with the uh, pink Stathylia and the Magnolia Sweet Merlot. A combination I really am very fond of. And we're now going to have a look at some more magnolias and other shrubs of interest as spring is springing. Swinging round from the uh, Stathylia above Cornish spring camellia. There's a shrub just dripping with yellow orange flowers. This is a Berberis from Chile. Very large growing. Come up behind it a little bit closer so we can have a good look at the flowers. And uh, they really are very dramatic cascading Berberis type flowers. This is Berberis Valdiviana from Valdivia in the middle of Chile. Of course, colours not only from flowers but from new leaves, especially the Aces. And this one is um, Acer Shishio Improved. I like the improved bit. I've no idea what the original was like, but with the sun coming through the leaves, it really is a fantastic sight. I'm sorry you can't smell the things that I'm showing you. Uh, this is uh, a skimmia called Q Green, a male plant. And the flowers just have an amazing, sweet, sweet perfume. It turns into quite a big suckering bush, but I must say I do keep it in bounds. And of course, when it suckers and layers itself, there are free plants for all. Going on up the path, we pass a rhododendron which says pink. It does shout pink at me, but it is completely full of flower. So one can be very grateful to it. This is rhododendron racimosum. As we swing around from Rhododendron Racimosum, just want to show you a rather sweet little Rhododendron which has been here for, I should think, 20 years. I've not grown all that big. Sweet little flowers. This is Rhododendron Spiciferum. Yes, yeah, a sweet little thing, really. I'm thinking that it's spiciferum because if you uh, rub the leaves between your fingers, they do have a kind of a, a spicy scent to them. Coming round from red and spiciferum, we'll go and meet the Fritz. Something I really love, and that is a whole load of fritillaries. And they're happily seeding about. The main clump is going over a bit now, but my goodness, it's, I think, a lovely sight in a moistish spot. Looking above the fritilla, as you can see, a 40-year-old specimen of Magnolia cobus. At least that's what I was given to believe it was. 
but you can see it from the road now, so tall. In contrast to the rather sweetly smelling Skimmia Q Green, here is a rather sour smelling Skimmia from the Caucasus and Afghanistan, I believe, called Skimmia aquatilia. A small shrub after 20 years or so, and why do I grow it, I hear you ask. And why indeed, is my reply. But here it is, tucked in a corner, minding its own business. Further along the path is one of my real favourites, Mag's Pirouette. When I first had this, I didn't realise how highly scented it was. I cut a, a bunch, took them to a show, and I wonder what that amazing sweet and spicy scent was. And I realised it was the magnolia. It's a delightful, smallish, double flower. Here we come up to uh, what I think is very aptly named Magnolia called Black Tulip. And indeed the flowers have that tulip shape to them. A good deep colour. And not a very big grower. Continuing our walk down here, we yeah, past the rather sad sight on the right of Magnolia Milky Way, which is normally the most wonderful and luscious magnolia. But regrettably the milk does seem to have curdled somewhat, thanks to that very cold wind we had. And I suppose it's a bit of an exposed corner. But behind it is uh, one of my absolute favourites, and that's Athene, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, I, you may remember seeing this lovely creamy coloured magnolia with a uh, red flash at the base of the flowers. Well, sunrise. And of course you have to see it when it's starting to flower because unfortunately the flowers do fade quite quickly to a white. But at the moment, I think it's just gorgeous. This is seven years old and already going up, but I don't think it's going to be a big tree. And I would say one of the highly recommended ones, in my opinion. So carrying on past the rather curdled Milky Way, we see in the distance the most magnificent Magnolia Lobneri Leonard Messel. This is all a very reliable Magnolia and it's been here since 1986, 87. Very widespreading, contrary to what they might say, not suitable for the small garden unless you have a very large small garden or you chop away at it after flowering, which you can do. And I had to really keep it in bounds because it would have spread miles, really. But it's a lovely, lovely magnolia, absolutely covered in flowers. Another of the highly recommended list. I promise you a look at one of my favourites of the magnolias, Athene. 
So here she is. We'll just take a closer look, shall we? Well, now, what do you think of that? Flower power or what? Magnificent. I know you'll get fed up with me telling you this, but another one with a delightful spicy scent. You'll have to invent some sort of scenting app. Now here is something intriguing. It's an Acer with these extraordinary long tassels of flowers which bedeck, bedeck the branches. And are really quite attractive. We'll move in for a closer look. I must say, it seems rather apt since we can't visit hairdressers at the moment, thanks to lockdown. Then we have an Acer, which also seems to be having a bad hair day. Maybe I'm being rude. It's an attractive small tree, really. This Acer goes by the name of Acer Nagundo Violaceum. A small tree with purple flushed new growth and a sort of whitish bloom on the new, on the new twigs. Is actually a very attractive little tree. Now behind Magnolia Peppermint Stick, you see a few flowers down there. We have a, another stacky urus, which is uh, rather optimistically called a joy forever. Well, quite frankly, the variegation, which is what it's got, is a sort of yellow and green and not actually that joyous quite frankly but at the moment with its new new leaves just coming out and its dangly catkins it is probably at its best now and will only remain so for the next week or so joy forever there we go well now that Wadda's memory is going over our attention is now drawn to this creamy yellow magnolia which is called Yellow River or Fei Huang and it really is absolutely splendid in the sunshine and it stands in front of Peppermint stick. It is reputed to be a form of Magnolia denudata, which is white. It does remind me a bit of Magnolia Elizabeth, which comes out just a little bit later. With your smelly app attached to your uh, whatever you're looking at this with, you can then sniff the fantastic fragrance of the North American buffalo current. Well, I'll head back to the house now and I'll leave you with the uh, Stephylia and Magnolia Sweet Merlot where we began.